Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and yeah hopefully you all enjoyed that music video I uploaded a few days ago I didn't know how you guys have reacted to it but it seemed that you guys um, actually really enjoyed it and also thank you to um 1.5 thousand subs I didn't really mention it much in previous videos but yeah many thanks for that because we're almost at 1,600 now it's insane so yeah just cannot thank you guys enough for the subscriber of uh, subscribing as always it's just it's just awesome so yeah that is that but anyway today we're going to be doing quite, a, quite an interesting idea. So the comment said, and yes, there's also a comment, so many thanks to your comment as well. But the comment said, we've got to make the sun, not the mass, actually not the mass. So we're going to make it the size of the Milky Way. So we're going to basically go ahead and do this. So we'll also try it in the Milky Way simulation as well, just to mess around a bit. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Damn, that's big. That is very big. Look at this thing. So that's a super sun now. Since it's the size of the Milky Way, so this is way, way, way larger than UI Scotty or anything like that. Like, if we just compare it to UI Scotty here. Well, obviously the observable universe will be bigger because that that guy is just huge. Now, if we got, if we even spawn that in, it will be this thing will be completely, um, well, this thing will completely disappear. So where is it? So the universe is somewhere here. Um, let's have a look. Blah blah blah. blah da, 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 where is it? Oh my God, I'm blind. Where is it? <laughs> oh, there it is. So yeah, the observable universe is way, way too big. Right, anyway, so if we compare it to UI Scotty, for instance, so let's just shoot, compare it to Westerland. This is also, this is one of the largest stars. So, yeah. This thing is, it's almost as big as UI Scotty. But yeah, look at this thing. It's so small. Look at this. Yeah, so, the, yeah, the sun is huge. So, it seems like it actually works as well when you make it the size of the Milky Way. It doesn't just disappear randomly, so we'll speed it up now. But let's see what happens if we unlock the mass. So, if we do that, does it do anything? So it only has 300 Jupiters in mass. So what if we put it to a mass of a Milky Way? It'll just make it a black hole, I'm assuming. Apparently not. So that's pretty crazy. So we've got a, 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 a sun, the mass of a Milky Way, and the radius of the Milky Way. That's pretty crazy. But anyways, let's just go ahead and do a few more scenarios with this. So let's go into the regular solar system again. And let's, let's just try this again. So let's not change the mass. We'll just leave radius and composition on. And let's make it a Milky Way. Let's see if anything happens. So if I just make it one Milky Way... Okay, so it just gobbles up the solar system and nothing else happens. Alright, interesting. Let's also change the idea as well. Let's make the mass of Milky Way, just to see if it does anything. Actually, let's leave that on. So, Milky Way. Let's go one Milky Way. Okay, so that time it just goes as a black hole and it puts it at uh, uh, 11,000 radius. Or 11,000 AU in radius. So, there's that. So, now we've just got a mega, mega black hole there. So, there's that. Alright, next up I want to try... Where's the supernova in Galaxy? There it is. So, I'm going to try this. So there's the sun there, so we'll just use this sun. So what we're going to do with you is, we're going to make you this, the radius of one Milky Way. So let's go ahead and do that. And then enter it in. Look at this thing. It almost covers the whole Milky Way, and, the, and Sagittarius A is inside it. So when I hit play, what's going to happen? Do you think Sagittarius A is going to destroy it, or will the sun? Let's have a look. Play, and Sagittarius A looks like it destroyed it. It's because it's a black hole, so... It also has similar or the same mass, so that's interesting. So it's completely eating it up. But we'll try that again. So we'll put a new sun in. Let's make it the mass of one Milky Way again, or the radius of the Milky Way. So let's go ahead and do that, like so. And it just died. So just to test it isn't just popping into nothing. Let's put the sun all over here. Let's also make it one Milky Way in size. So let's go ahead and enter that in like that. Okay. So no, it is the black hole that's destroying it. So if we just go ahead and move it closer now. So if we just put it too close to black hole, I'm guessing the black hole just eats it up. So let's just go ahead and test that. So if we just drag it in there, yeah, the black hole destroys it. So in theory, if we made the sun the size of the or, or the Milky Way, the Sagittarius A would just gobble it up apparently. So pretty crazy stuff. Let's make the radius the size of an AE on this as well. Does that do anything? Oh, wow. Okay, what just happened? Have we broken the game? What? We're just on the black screen. What have I done? Whoa, okay. Okay, I made it an infinite size. Look, look at the radius now. I only entered one in, so I don't know why I did that, but that's, that's pretty crazy. But yeah, there we go. So that is what happens if the sun was to become the size of the Milky Way. It would just literally get gobbled up straight away by um, Sagittarius A. So we could just um, do this as well. So there's the sun. We'll make it a thousand, um, a thousand light years in size. So there's the Milky Way there. So if we just continually make this bigger and bigger... So doing this a little realistically, so if the sun just got continually bigger and bigger and bigger and it tried to be the size of the Milky Way, so let's make this a little quicker because it's taking forever. So there, so there it is there. So as soon as it touches the black hole, I'm guessing the black hole just eats it up. So let's just try that. So is the black hole going to gobble it up? Come on, surely. 
Is it almost there? Okay, a little further. Let's keep going. It's just going to disappear, right? Come on. Surely. Is Sagittarius inside it? Okay, that, that makes no sense. Well, it's... Okay, I don't know what's going on. Well, that is very weird. Let's go to one Milky Way again. Oh, because we actually survived that time. Whoa, hang on. It's a gas giant. This is a gas giant. Whoa. Let's put it to zero degrees. Wait, can it go to zero degrees? Please go to zero degrees. I want to see a massive gas giant. <laughs> Come on, let's have a look. Let's cool it down. Oh, is it not going to cool down? Oh, come on. And we can make a giant rocky planet. This is the ultimate big rock. <laughs> Look at this. Zero degrees. Oh, so it has cooled down. Okay, so let's put it to minus 999. So it goes to minus two. Come on, let's cool down. Make it. Let's make it. Wow, it really doesn't want to... Wait, is this a rocky planet now? No, it's still a gas giant. But it's not changing. Ah, oh, come on. If I drag it out, is it going to stay in one piece? So there it is. Come on, cool down in temperature. I don't think this is going to work. This is some glitched, bugged out object. Oh, no, there we go. Look at the size of this gas giant. I'm going to save it. Let's see if it actually respawns as a gas giant that big. Let's have a look. Uh, oh, sun over remnant. Oh, it does. Oh, no way. We've got a new glitched object. Look at that. So I'm hoping that stays like that forever. So now we've got a... Oh, oh hang on. what the heck happened there? We've just broken it. I think. Wait, are these black holes now? I know they're still gas giants, apparently. Put it on flashlight. Ah, there you go. So we can see them. It's just one of these, because one of them became a black hole, it looks like. It made them. Um, these guys all do this. So, overall, we've got um, a pretty cool object there. So, yeah, many thanks to the guy who commented this. Now we've got a cool custom object to play with, hopefully. So, let's um, just go ahead and test it um, in the regular solar system here. So, let's um, go there. Right, so can we do it here? Hopefully it will place. And there you go. Look at that. We've got an actual super gas giant now. Look at this thing. So hopefully when we re are set um, when I close and reopen the game, we actually keep that object. Whoa, look at that. So it just shadows out. Look at this thing. Wow, that is insane. Cool. So it's not as big as um it's not as big as the observable universe though. So where's that? Yeah, the Observable Universe just dwarfs this thing. If we, I can never find it. There it is. Yes, the Observable Universe is way, way too big. But overall, not a bad object. Got quite a decent sized gas giant there. So looking good. So apparently gas giants now go super size as well. So hopefully it stays like that. And we have this as a forever glitched object. Because that's pretty cool. But yeah, there we go. So hopefully you guys all enjoyed this video on making the sun the size of the Milky Way. Because that's pretty crazy stuff. And then this this is the size of the Milky Way. This um, sun over remnant as well. So... That's yeah, pretty cool stuff, actually. So, yeah, hopefully you all enjoy this video. Make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe for more helps on the journey to 1,600 subscribers. Now, let's see if we can get it before um, December, because that would be awesome. So, right now, it's the 25th of November. So, we've got about five days. Let's see if we can do it, because that would be cool. But, yeah, there we go. So, yeah, make sure you guys all have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.